Hey guys, it's Wasbra here. Today we're going to take a look at the changes that happened in the past couple of days. I wasn't going to make this video, but there have been a significant amount of changes that drastically improve performance for Tears of the First of all, the overall gameplay performance in Towns has been improved by about 6%. As you can see, it's not stuttering nearly as much as it used to. The 1% walls are a bit better, but the average FPS is just about the same. Still a welcome change nonetheless. There's a few new mods that came out that have improved the overall visual fidelity of the game. There's also a new version available, that's 1.1.2, that is supposed to remove the dupe glitch from the game, so I would recommend not updating it. In the case you do want to update, I already provided all the mods in the description down below. Next, we're going to take a look at the Sky Islands fix mod. Without the mod, you can clearly see some very nasty outlines in the top and the bottom left. This mod is supposed to fix that, as you can see at the top left. This completely eliminates the nasty outlines that have been present since day one. We're going to take a look at the LED fix mod. This mod is supposed to improve the quality of distant objects. The next comparison is a little bit better. You can clearly see a difference between the left and the right. All of these mods have been added to visual improvements. OpenGL has been improved by about 50% for Tears of the Kingdom, making it on par with Vulkan. VRAM usage is significantly less than OpenGL, while the RAM should be about the same with similar shader compilations. Regardless of this, OpenGL still suffers from enormous amount of flickering as you can see on the left. It seems like OpenGL uses a lot less GPU. Performance is not so bad in comparison to Vulkan, but because Vulkan is a lot more accurate, it's still recommended to use Vulkan. Next, we are going to take a look at the changes for fuse icons. Turning off async shader builder hack makes this issue non-existent, but may cause significant amount of stuttering when building shaders. A new option to restore icons is under Tears of the Kingdom, Remove, Remove Cache. This should make your icons look normal even with the async shader on. Turning off async shader does make the icons look normal. The loading times have been reduced by half. This is one of the biggest changes we have seen so far. It's very very welcome and it really makes the gameplay way better. If you want an active community with people to hang out and talk about emulation, feel free to join the, the Discord in the description down below. The mod folder has been updated to 3.0 which adds all of these changes inside of it. For more updates about Yuzu, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, have a great day, until next time.